Okay. This is my Arduino with a NeoPixel shield on it. And this is the snake uh, display that I'm doing. I've got this uh, piece of paper on the front to act like a diffuser so it's a little less obnoxious as it goes along. As you can see, that's pretty obnoxious. Um, see if I can get that back on there now. There we go. So this is pretty simple. The snake is uh, six segments long and it uh, you can see it fades. So what's special about this? I mean the snake is pretty easy to do. Uh, once you get your uh, coordinate space set up as opposed to a linear pixel space. But um, I decided to make this thing a little bit interesting by following color temperatures. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. So the head of the snake, uh, it's not exactly right. I've dimmed them down a little bit because uh, it was way obnoxiously bright the way I started out. But uh, the head of the snake is 10,000 Kelvin black body temperature. The next one uh, back in the string is uh, 8,000, then 6,000, 4,000, 2,000, and then 500. So imagine that you used a really, really super duper hot torch and heated up a piece of metal. When it got up to 10,000 Kelvin, it would be glowing white with a blue tinge to it. Hi there. Who's there? Me. What's up, me? Adam. What's up? What are you doing? I'm making a movie real quick. And yes, Can you still have... upstairs with me? Well, in a minute. Did you, go... Did you finish your chores? Uh-huh. Both of them? Uh-huh. What was your other one? Did you go well, go finish your chores. Okay. And go pee and go potty if you need to go potty. I will. Then I'm gonna go upstairs and get dressed for bed. All right. Where were we? Oh, so uh, so a black body source is the uh, a perfect black body gives off no light of its own. It's a purely you could heat it up and it would give you a pure color based on the heat and Boltzmann's constant and, and the energy involved and so on and so forth. So when you start heating a piece of metal, say, so a metal is not a perfect black body because it also reflects light from around it. Um, and it has characteristics that will uh, give off weird colors because of the chemicals in involved. But if you start heating it up, it's going to start to glow red, and then it'll be, you know it'll be a deep cherry red, and then it'll start getting a little brighter, and then a little brighter, and then it'll finally get to the point where it turns this orange, and then it'll turn white, and then if you keep going, well of course your metal will have melted by then, but if you keep going, if you're using a ceramic, you'll see that it gets up uh, to a white with a blue tint and it just works its way on up the spectrum into the ultraviolet and eventually uh, gamma rays and x-rays and all sorts of crazy rays. Um, but I just decided to go here. I thought that the it was neat to have the color shift from uh, 10k down to black as, just, as though it was metal cooling. Um, so that's all. Um, sorry about the interruption. Sorry for the boredom. Sorry it took so long. This is an Arduino with a NeoPixel shield. The code's available on my website, www.berk.tv. Uh, goodbye.